Now, Iran's foreign minister has warned the international community against the growing number of foreigners joining terror groups in the Middle East. Mohammad Javad Zarif made that remark in an address to the UN Security Council. He said such growth reveals the international community's failure in combating terrorism. Zarif called terrorism a global threat and demanded that measures be taken to tackle that ominous phenomenon. He slammed he slammed some regional countries for abetting the rise of extremism in the Middle East through their irresponsible behavior and wrong stances. Iran's foreign minister noted that such countries' irresponsible behavior was obvious in the recent stampede tragedy in Saudi Arabia, which led to the deaths of thousands of pilgrims. To discuss that further, I'm joined by Dr. Webster Griffin Tarpley, who is an author and historian, and he's joining us now on the line from Washington. Dr. Tarpley, thanks very much for joining us. Um, what do you make of the statement of the Iranian foreign minister, him speaking about all these foreigners that are joining terror groups in the Middle East? Well, I think he's uh, essentially correct on, on, the, uh, on the main point. <clears throat> we have to remember that the first gathering of terrorists in the recent uh, <clears throat> period was Libyan destabilization, like the so-called um, Libyan uh, civil war. And that, of course, was a group of terrorists and foreign fighters brought from all around the world, essentially by Saudi Arabia and financed by them. Uh, this group, after the death of Colonel Gaddafi and after the, the ending of the main hostilities in Libya, this group was then transshipped uh, through Turkey into northern Syria. And I'm afraid this is what uh, most research would conclude the, uh, the U.S. Uh, Ambassador Stevens had been doing uh, when he was uh, then unfortunately slain himself. He had been talking to a Turkish diplomatic official about shipping those terrorists from Libya over to Turkey and then uh, into Syria. And the general idea of the, uh, the, the, the Syrian civil war is that it's really not a civil war, it's <coughs> excuse me, an invasion by foreign fighters, people coming from Saudi Arabia, from this uh, Derna uh, to Tobruk to Benghazi corridor in northern Libya, and people like this. Without foreign fighters, there really would be no large-scale hostilities possible in, in Syria. So he's, he's actually uh, quite correct, and uh, we, can, we can simply point to, to, to show how this is so. If the Turkish government would simply close the Turkish-Syrian border, or if the Kurdish forces were allowed to close that remaining 65 to 70 mile gap east, uh, I'm sorry, west of the Euphrates River, uh, then uh, the, uh, the entire uh, ISIS operation would tend to collapse because without those recruits coming across the border, ISIS could no longer subsist. So I think it's important to stress how artificial these terrorist groups are, how dependent they are on foreign fighters, and the colossal bad faith that the NATO government, the United States, Britain, France, and the rest of them, who uh, pretend to be shocked and horrified, but actually have aided and abetted these terrorists going into Syria. Okay, we'll leave it there at that point. But as always, Dr. Tarpley, we do appreciate your insight. That was Dr. Webster Griffin Tarpley, who'd been speaking to us live on the line from Washington.